Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the show. We're here today with our Friday review on the Cabral Concept. Love being able to bring you these shows each and every Friday because I get to share with you some of my favorite things. My favorite healthy biohacking-based products, book reviews you know that I love to read and, and really see what people are teaching out there uh, and what people are also reading. So I love your book recommendations. I also go through research each and every week, but not mundane, bland, boring research, actual research that I think will apply to you, uh, if not a loved one in your life. And of course, I love being able to do a recap of the podcast and go through what is going on right now in the private global practice, as well as some personal items as well. So without further ado, let's dive into the show and let's start right there. But again, stay tuned for today's show, because a little bit later, I'm going to share with you one of the most surprising healthy biohacking devices I've ever used. And I was literally blown away and, and totally surprised by this product because I did not think that I would be into it. And I've known about it for many, many years. I actually know the founders and I still haven't used the product, uh, but that'll come just in a few minutes into the show. All right, so let's get started. Updates on what's going on in my uh, personal, but also private practice as well. So first things first, just spent the week uh, last week in Maine. I love being back in New England in the fall crisp weather, and it's definitely already really crisp, uh, but also just getting to be able to spend that time, quality time with my family uh, and extended family as well has been really nice. So I hope you've had a great start to your holiday season. I know here in the U.S. we celebrated Thanksgiving uh, last week, but you know, the truth is that this is a special time of the year. It really is. And I hope that you're able to enjoy that time, enjoy some quality time, maybe some downtime with family, friends, and loved ones as well. So hopefully uh, I can wish you a happy holidays and uh, also a healthy holiday as well. All right, let's get into what's going on uh, in terms of the private-based practice. Well, Privately behind the scenes, we are developing something called HPH. I can't give you all the full details yet. A few of the IHPs know, but this is going to be actually for private one-on-one -on -one clients, and I'll be coming out of retirement for this executive-based program that I'll be offering, and also for um, our IHPs as well in terms of a certification and curriculum. But essentially what we are doing is putting together the very best of healthy biohacking-based systems that you can do and complete in your own life four to five times a week in 30 minutes to 60 minutes maximum to really get all of the benefits uh, and just tremendous research behind improving your mood, your energy, uh, your body, and then also living to 100 and beyond, which I'm trying to help people now get to that next level. Doesn't have to be complicated, but there are specific things that you can do uh, that will dramatically improve your overall health, body transformation, and longevity. So I'll be sharing that. And um, not only that with IHP, because again, this is going to also be a certification for health and fitness coaches out there. Uh, but inside of IHP, if you're already an integrative health practitioner, uh, I can't recommend it enough. We have mastery coming up and the enrollment is already happening now. And it begins, I believe, the second or third week in January. So definitely check that out, integrativehealthpractitioner.org. Um, if you don't have the information about it, you can find that at forward slash mastery. Or of course, just always email email in at support at ihp.coach. We're there to help. So any questions, we can get on the phone with you. We can answer any questions. Happy to do that. And then also uh, the team will be teaching uh, the business mentorship experience as well for IHP. So these are really exclusive programs inside of IHP. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And I'm excited to be able to add a brand new certification to that, which basically takes all of the IHP knowledge, but now it's teaching you how to go deeper with your clients. Once you get them well, you help them achieve their ideal body weight, help them get into a healthy place in their life, both mind and body. Now let's take it to the next level. Let's see if we can help people really see how much can they optimize their overall wellness uh, and anti-aging based protocols using the most state-of-the-art advanced healthy based techniques. So super excited about that. Just stay tuned. Uh, can't release all the information yet, but it will be coming in the new year, which believe it or not is just a few weeks away. All right. What's going on over at Equal Life? Well, this is the last week of our semi-annual sale. That means up to 25% off store-wide. This only happens twice a year, literally twice a year. So you don't want to miss this one because the next one is into next July you know, six or seven months from now. So one of the reasons why we love to do this is because we appreciate our community. We truly do. I mean, like we are 
all about how much can we serve our community. That is the truth. And um, everyone knows, and hopefully you understand this as well, but functional medicine-based nutritional supplements just cost more for us to produce. They really do. Like if you find an, a product on your you know, typical Amazon product or whatever it might be, inexpensive to produce, right, for the most part. Uh, our products are usually multiple ingredients, synergists, third-party testing, NSF-based certified. Uh, they are at FDA-based manufacturing facilities. Top-notch, right? Like the best of the best. But that doesn't mean uh, we try to give you, again, everyday best prices, but a couple times a year, how can we thank our community? And this is the best way that we know how. Give you the best price possible, uh, up to 25% off store-wide. And again, if you haven't signed up for SMS text, I can't recommend doing that enough because there'll be two days during the week um, they may have already passed. We'll, we'll see. But it happens all throughout the year that SMS text uh, subscribers, and again, all that it is is an SMS text letting you know of an exclusive deal going on. You can find that at equi.life forward slash text. And if you want to check out all the 100 plus products, uh, including labs that are on sale right now, head on over to stephencabral.com forward slash shop. That'll forward you right over to the Equal Life website. All right, podcast recap for the week before we get into our product review that I'm excited to reveal. Um, episode 2488, that was this past Monday. It was, what if this was the last time, right? So I've got a podcast that uh, for me, is how do I stay present in everyday life? And, um, you know, I, I took a very deep, deep subject and I tried to make it as light as possible without devaluing its message. And I just really think that too many of us are, we just think that we have so much time in life that we get caught up and say, oh, I'll do that tomorrow. I'll do that next week. I'll chat with that person a little bit later. I'll, you know, really go after my dream next year, right? It's all of these things that we think we have more and more time. And I just wanted to share with you how to stay more present. And so whether you end up doing more, whether you even want to do more or not, this was, I think, a pretty powerful episode on how to stay more present. So that was 2488. Uh, on Tuesday's show was fixing male infertility and sexual health problems. So that was a show dedicated to all the men out there and um, spouses or significant others that want to be able to help uh, men with their own infertility or sexual health problems. So that was by popular demand, got a lot of questions and happy to answer those. Hypothyroidism symptoms was on Wednesday, low thyroid and or Hashimoto's. I go over all those low thyroid symptoms. See if you're suffering from what's called functionally low hypothyroidism. That means your numbers look okay on a conventional medicine lab test. So your PCP or endocrinologist doesn't do anything, but that doesn't mean that you don't feel like you have low thyroid symptoms. And I share with you the actual functional medicine parameters uh, and then uh, what those symptoms look like. And I broke it down from an Ayurvedic perspective as well. All right, yesterday's show was on the new food sensitivity test. And I went through a case study, very normal case study in our practice. If you've never seen a food sensitivity test, check out that. Uh, it's really, it's powerful. I tell you how long to eliminate a food you're sensitive to based on mild, moderate, or high sensitivity. And then for practitioners as well, I went through the breakdown on what the lab looks like. Um, now that they've tweaked it just a little bit, I'm sure after doing you know millions of labs uh, with their advanced protocols. All right, now I'm excited to bring you our product review of the week. I'm telling you right now, I have probably 20 products that are set for me to review. Not even half of them do I bring onto the Friday Review podcast or on one of my special Wednesday emails. And I didn't believe that this was going to be one of them. But this like, it's like a book, right? Now I've got a book review coming in just a moment too. But you don't always know uh, whether it's going to be phenomenal or not, right? It's like, don't judge a book by its cover. Is that the cliche? I believe that it is. Well, so I met the founders of this particular product, and I'll, I'll share that in just a moment. I met them about four or five years ago, husband and wife, and they are great people, like great people. And even though after meeting them and having many clients of mine, like personal private wellness clients in my concierge practice, um, and again, I said I haven't opened up to new clients in a couple of years. I haven't, but I still have my executive level clients that I've been working with for, for some time. Um, they use it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, but I just, here's the thing. I have a sleep routine. I get 90 plus minutes of deep sleep. I get over two hours of REM sleep. I feel good. I sleep in my cozy earth sheets. Like 
everything is good. So I'm like, do I really want to mess with that? And a lot of times I'm just like, no, I don't want to mess with it. Like I'm, I'm good. Like everything's good and I don't need to change it up. However, I've literally now met, I don't know, a half a dozen of my clients who love it. I met the founders. They came, they actually merged with a new company called Sleep Me and the original product was called Chili Pad. So I'm like, you know what? This is something I'm going to be teaching, like sleep optimization and HPH uh, in late January. So I was like, why don't I? Like, why don't I test this out? Like, that is part of my job to share with people the best of the best in this industry. You know, worst case, then I just won't use it after a couple weeks. Well, here's the thing. On the very first night, I loved it. Like, literally couldn't believe it and be like, I can't believe that it took me four years to actually try this product. So what is it? Real simple. And, and I'm going to pop up uh, a few photos over here. It's called the Chili Pad, and they merged with Sleep Me. And I'm going to link it up uh, at stephencabral.com forward slash 2492. So if you want to head on over there, I'm going to link up the new Chili Pad. I'm going to link up what's just called the Sleep Doc Pro and the Sleep Me technology that I'm about to share with you. I'm going to link up the book review I'm going to go over and the research, all right? So stephencabral.com forward slash 2492. If you ever can't find a link or it's missing, just write in at cabralsupportgroup.com or support at stephencabral.com. We'll grab it for you. All right. So it used to be called the Chili Pad. Now it's called the Doc Pro by Sleep Me. And what it is, is there's a little unit that sits on the floor. It's probably 16 inches by 16 inches, very light white noise. So it's really nice for sleep as well. And what it's doing is it's a water reservoir. Then you set the temperature either through an app on your phone, and I'll talk about airplane mode and all that in a minute, uh, or through the machine. And it circulates water up through this tube onto a pad that goes on your mattress, all right? So we're gonna pop that up. And you know what? If you go to stephencabral.com forward slash 2492, what I'm going to do is actually share with you my personal videos that I'm putting up on Instagram. So I'll give you the Instagram link so you can actually see what it looks like in my bedroom. The funny thing is, um, when I'm shooting this, uh, we just moved into a new house and it's being renovated like our bedroom and bathroom. And so we're sleeping in, I don't even know if it would be considered the guest room, we'll call it like a little office, uh, but I have it all laid out there so you get to see some behind the scenes. And so what I did is I got what's called the Me Pad. So there's the Wee Pad that covers both sides of the bed and the Me Pad is just half the bed. Here's why I did it. The water circulates through the pad. And again, I didn't know if I would like this or not, but the pad is super soft, super comfortable. It goes on top of your mattress, but below your sheets, and it will just cool the bed or warm it for one individual. So uh, typically my wife runs colder, I run hot, so I set mine on a cooling mode, but you can actually have two different ones and set one on hot to warm the bed actually up to 115 degrees, and the cool one goes all the way down to 55 degrees. I set mine on 75, 76 degrees, seems to be the perfect temperature for me. And what happens is when I lay down in bed, I'm lying on this cool mat. But not only that, it's, it's my own little water bed, which is hilarious because you're sleeping on this very small, like it's not thick, cushion of water that's super comfortable. And it cools you down right away, which means if you're someone that runs hot, whether it is, again, someone that just runs hot, or um, someone that, I, I, this is who I recommend it for. Um, women that I work with in my practice that are going through menopause, they might be dealing with hot flashes, or again, anyone. Um, people who don't fall asleep right away, because they're, they're too hot, they can't wind down, or people that don't get enough deep REM, if, or deep sleep if you're tracking your sleep. Because what it does, it starts to lower that core temperature. And it relaxes your body, calms your nervous system so you can get the deep rejuvenating sleep that you need. So all it's doing is basically running through a filter. So it's filtering the air, it's cleaning the water, and it moves through the pad, and it circulates it and keeps it at the perfect temperature for you. So before, and I shared this during my, my the sheet recommendations, is that I would only sheet, uh, sleep with a sheet on me. That's it. Because I was too hot. I couldn't put the comforter on. So my wife had the comforter. I just had a sheet. And now I can put a comforter over me and I can actually have the cooling pad. So it's, it's actually really nice. Uh, and the thing about the Wi-Fi, I was worried about Wi-Fi. I don't keep any Wi-Fi in my bedroom. No phone, um, no Wi-Fi devices, all plugged in devices away from the head of my bed. And so what this does, though, is it allows you to set it on your phone or right on the machine and then just put it on airplane mode. So there's no Bluetooth connection. There's no Wi-Fi that you have to have. You can put it on if you want or not. So again, I love that about it. But here's 
another feature that I had to share with you that is the most advanced thing that I've seen right now in sleep technology. So, super interesting. They have a new program. Uh, it's basically a computer algorithm called Hyber AI, like hibernation. So Hyber AI, AI standing for artificial intelligence. It actually sets the perfect bed temperature for you when you're falling asleep, and then it goes even lower as needed in order to get you into a deeper sleep, which is absolutely remarkable. But here's the thing. If you were to get out of bed, let's say to use the bathroom, uh, and again, this by keeping you cool, you might not have to wake up to actually use the bathroom. I've seen that with a couple of my clients, which is pretty phenomenal. So you can get better sleep throughout the night, not having to wake up one, two, three times a night to urinate. Well, what happens is if you do get up, it will warm the pad so that you get back in bed to a nice warm bed during the middle of the night if you choose to. And then after you fall asleep, because it's taking your heart rate, it's taking your uh, heart rate variability, your breath rate, and measuring your body temperature, it will then bring you back down as needed. Now, here's one more remarkable thing. So I have mine set for nine o'clock at night, so it starts to cool the bed for me, and then it turns off by six the latest. So what will happen though, is it can actually set itself to warm the pad at wake up time so you don't need to use an alarm and it can wake you up by warming up your body, raising your core temperature, which will move you out of sleep. So uh, again, I thought it was, I, I just think that it's uh, it really impressive. And then on your phone the next day, if you're not a person who likes to wear wearables to bed, it will actually show you your deep sleep, REM sleep, light sleep, and awake time. So Pretty interesting technology. Um, I highly recommend it. I really do. I just, I was blown away by it. And usually I don't give this high recommendation. And the reason I'm probably doing that right now is because I didn't think it was for me and didn't think that I would actually use the product itself. So we reached out to the company. I've been using it now for about three weeks and uh, I can definitely recommend it. So we'll put it that way. I'm, I'm going to continue using it. My, let's see if they gave, I'm not sure that they gave our, uh, team. Oh, they did. So they reached out, my team. And if you use the code Dr. Cabral, all capitals, D R C A B R A L, you'll actually get 25% off. That's an enormous savings. So uh, let's see sleep.me forward slash Dr. Cabral. But we'll link that up at stephencabral.com forward slash 2492. And also head on over there because if you're watching this, well, if you're watching this on YouTube or video, great. Uh, but also, if you're just listening to this through audio, I'm going to link up the video of me kind of taking you through the product. I'm not a professional photographer or videographer or anything like that, but I give you a behind the scenes. Uh, and again, it's, it's a fantastic product. Whether you want to heat the bed, cool the bed, and take advantage of their um, AI, it's, it's fantastic. So, all right, hopefully that was helpful. More to come, and I'm sure you'll see that on Instagram stories as well. All right, book review of the week is called 4,000 Weeks. What a title, right? Draws you in right away, I and mean, this person knows how to write a title. 4,000 Weeks, Time Management for Mortals, and that's the sub-headline. It's amazing. I love that. Uh, I don't know why. I'm, I'm into uh, alliteration. I'm into you know, the book title names create an intrigue. And so this certainly intrigued me. Um, this is a New York Times bestselling book by Oliver Berkman. I don't know Oliver, never met Oliver, uh, but it's a good book, no doubt about it. And I knew right away what it was because 4,000 weeks is approximately how many weeks you have in your life if you live to 77 years old, just under 77. So that's the average lifespan for a woman, uh, for a male, it's about uh, 74 years. And uh, when I think about that, I again, I, I've shared this before. I'm very open about my emotions, how I feel, all of those things. I get overwhelmed by the shortness of life. I know a lot of people think that life is long. Um, I, I had a really big brush, obviously, with um, not being told I would ever recover or live a very long or healthy life. And so it hit me at a very young age. I mean, I think, I think it's more traumatic when it happens when you're younger. I mean, I was a teenager and I was going through all of this and I said, wow, I was like, this is my life. And, and um, no matter how long I live, like this is not a very good life to live when you're that sick. But I overcame it. And, um, and of course, that's what I try to teach you now every single day on the Cabral concept. People ask, how do you do a podcast a day? How do you do this? How do you do that? It's, it's intrinsic motivation with trying to give back because I could not be more uh, grateful for having the life that I have now. And that's the truth. And so I work hard because I know what it's like not to be able to work hard. I know what it's like to be exhausted every single day, brain fog, fatigue, joint pain, and just 
being miserable. Like that's the truth, right? So I know what that's like. So I'm not going to let any day pass. Like no days, no days get a pass with me. However, this book though helps you take the anxiety of thinking about, you know, your ultimate mortality and not having to try to cram everything in, not having to just be overwhelmed or anxious by it, but how you can look at life a little bit differently. So it's not just about how to better plan your day, your weeks, and your life, but actually the overall philosophy on life and not being overwhelmed. And um, again, I think done in a really well thought out manner, uh, really nice writing and coming to grip with our own mortality and also accepting that, enjoying it, and being able to hopefully uh, share a lot of this with others as well. So I'm going to link the book up today, again, at stephencabral.com forward slash 2492. Okay, let's go through our research of the week as I'm fumbling along with my paperwork here. <laughs> there we go. All right. I still, again, for as, as digital as I am with all the fun software and all the different uh, communications I use with my team, like uh, the Ayubowan app with clients, with Zoom for team and Slack for team, all these different things, I still do have a lot of books. I enjoy, very much enjoy physical books and reading, reading research. All right, so first research study of the day. I love this. More potassium, not less sodium, I mean like not less salt, is good for the heart. So... Uh, review of studies examining the relationship between cardiovascular disease and the consumption of sodium and potassium reducing sodium intake did not significantly lower risk for disease. Instead, increasing potassium consumption to achieve a lower ratio of potassium to sodium appeared key to improving the outcomes. And this was out of the University of Porto, Portugal, uh, my people, and it was published in Nutrients. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. So here's the thing. IHPs will know this. Clients will know this. We've been teaching this for decades, right? It's so nice that conventional medicine is joined the party. Welcome. Uh, but here's the thing. You want, it's, a, it's all about ratios. Anybody who's ever run the minerals and metals test, we actually, right now, as of the uh, recording of the show, it may not be in the future, but we actually give that lab away. First lab free. If you've never run a lab, we want you to understand the power of functional medicine. It is what saved my life and countless other people. So again, I literally just ask that you pay for the shipping. That's it. It's a $199 lab. So we want to be the ones to introduce you to functional medicine. You can find that at stephencabral.com forward slash free lab. It's only while supplies last. There's 100 that we give away per month. But again, we do this for new clients because <coughs> we want to introduce you to functional medicine lab testing. Why? This lab goes through your minerals, calcium, potassium, sorry, calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium, zinc, copper, phosphorus, iodine, um, selenium, so on and so forth. And then it goes through heavy metals, lead, mercury, aluminum, cadmium, arsenic, to make sure you don't, or you're not high in those. It's, again, it's a phenomenal lab. Everyone needs to run it. I run it with my daughters. It's ages three and up. Okay. So here's the thing though. On that lab, I'm just going to break out part of it. I have case studies on that lab. I'm happy to share some case studies. They're all free at, at uh, stephencabral.com forward slash podcast. But the thing is this, it's called the minerals and metals test. You can find it again, at stephencabral.com forward slash labs. You can find it. You can look it up. Um, choose to do with you what, what you want with it. But on that lab, you'll see there's a 2.5 to 1 ratio of sodium to potassium. Okay. It doesn't mean that you're supposed to have more potassium than you are sodium, but so many people are deficient in potassium that it basically looks like elevated levels of sodium in the body right? Because it's about ratios in the body. So, so many women are dealing with infertility. They're dealing with low mood. They're dealing with anxiety. They're dealing with um, bloating-based issues. They're dealing with sleep issues. And it's not because they have too much estrogen in the body. A lot of practitioners try to tell you that. It's actually because you have too little progesterone, right? And it doesn't mean go out and, you know, take hormonal progesterone. It means find out the underlying root causes. Why? But with sodium to potassium, again, part of it's stress-based. I, I can't go through it on today's show. But again, conventional medicine, welcome to the party. Thank you for joining us. Uh, it's, a, it's a ratio. It's always a ratio. So you want to take more potassium in. And all you have to do is go on Dr. Google and just look up high potassium foods. Add more high potassium foods to your diet. And just be careful adding a lot of these electrolytes out there that are like a 10 to 1 ratio. If you sweat a lot, you sweat out a lot of sodium, fine. But that's not the majority of people. The majority of people are not triathletes training in the heat all the time, right? So when you're looking for an electrolyte, you want to be closer to that three to one, two to one, uh, sometimes even one to one if you're eating a lot of sodium during the day. 
of sodium to potassium. All right, just wanted to share that with you. Again, I'll link up the research at 2492. All right, the last research study of the day is afternoon naps may boost cognitive ability. Well, look at that. And I'm going to link up a podcast on napping at 2492 as well. But this was for people ages 60 or over. And that's really, I'm recommending a lot. Like I recommend rejuvenating protocols, uh, binaural beats, non-sleep deep rest uh, protocols that I've spoken about before for younger people to, to really calm that central nervous system. But people 60 plus, you know, individual 60 plus really do benefit from uh, napping. <clears throat> it increases attention, uh, memory short and long term. It increases uh, problem solving, verbal fluency, and other cognitive measures over people that did not nap. And the napping times really uh, varied widely. They help with inflammation, they help with cognitive decline, sleep disorders. But as you see in my podcast, you want to do it before 2 p.m. Um, and you want to end it before 2 p.m., typically somewhere between like, let's say, 12 and 2. And it can be anywhere. Um, this research says between five minutes and two hours, that's like almost useless research because it's like such a huge, even though they got great results, it's too huge. Typical nap that's going to get you results is just over 20 minutes to about an hour and a half. And um, check out my podcast because you don't want to fall asleep for an hour. You want to be kind of within sleep ranges. So again, I'll link that up today on napping at 2492. But it is, I mean, it can be life changing. Um, when I was recovering from Addison's and autoimmune issues, I tried to take a 20 minute to 30 minute nap um, every afternoon, um, basically Monday through Friday wasn't always possible, but I did my best and, uh, and that's it. And so again, what it's, you're not doing is getting into that deep sleep where all of a sudden you wake up groggy. You're actually just kind of shutting down the fight or flight. So that's super important as well. All right. That is it for today's show. Hopefully this was helpful as always, uh, do feel free to share the show with anyone you believe it could serve. And I'll be back tomorrow with our weekend Cabral house calls. Take care, everybody.